Now you may have noticed a certain downtrodden energy on YouTube lately. Matt pat himself on the back and dipped like every other creator's views lately. And now everyone is quilting. I mean, what are you going to do? Sew them? What's the big... Oh, sorry. My eyesight is a bit patchy. Everyone is quidditching. Hey guys, and welcome back to Sir. Are, are you serious? serious? So unless you've been living under a quilt lately, you've realized that large and medium channels have been complaining that they are not getting views and simultaneously quitting. Well, I'm here to tell you that you should not do that. But there's more to this story. This is a narrative being pushed from large and medium channels that no one can succeed on the platform anymore. It seems like my explore page is just filled with videos that look exactly like this. YouTube has become a content factory, but none of its workers are content. They're living in tents and no one is a happy camper. They wear shorts in the frigid winter temperatures, fighting their demon Monetization. Their tents are being striked down with copyright. Anyways, sign up for my masterclass. Uh, so why is this narrative being pushed? I mean, what's the point of making small creators feel absolutely hopeless now? Well, it's because that they see that more opportunity is being given to smaller channels. You'll notice many smaller channels appearing on your homepage with sometimes under 500 views, and these larger channels are upset that the spotlight is now being taken off of them. What they're really saying is, wait, please don't take my spot, I worked so hard to get here. And that's understandable, but what they have to realize is that everyone is working hard to get anywhere. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't quit, especially if you're just starting. Number one, the sky is the limit here, guys. And number two, I have an insane analogy that's coming up, and I want you all to pay special attention, because I personally think I'm a genius. So with all this panic in the air, it's easy for any content creator to just say, well, <laughs> let's just throw in the towel. But I need to make myself clear, okay? Content creation is not an easy task. I for one struggle so much to stay motivated in anything I do. It's an emotional uphill battle that I have to face on the daily when I make videos. When there's all of this rhetoric being pushed on YouTube where people are just giving up left and right, it's easy for me to think, well, it's just hopeless. I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why you shouldn't quit YouTube and should keep going. Resilience wins. Yeah, resilience. You know, I, I love resilience. resilience. Yeah. So imagine that we're all salmon swimming upstream. There's a pond down here that's super comfortable. So why not just stay here, right? Well, most of us will end up staying in this pond and giving up. But a select few will continue upstream in the belief that there is a reservoir at the top of the YouTube mountain. Once you make it through that funnel that is the river, you're monetized and you have regular views. Your channel's doing well. Consistency. All right, so you've made it that far. What the hell are you gonna do now? Swim around? I don't know what salmon do. Do whatever you want. The salmon at the top of the reservoir are getting all of the resources, right? And they have to fight over it. And whatever they don't use goes downstream to all the comfy salmon or the salmon who are currently swimming their way up. They eat it up and they take that spot on the explore page. Well, guess what? YouTube is now giving more opportunity starting in the comfy pond. There's more impressions. There's more ability for a small channel to explode if they tap into the algorithm correctly. YouTube is becoming more of a social platform rather than an entertainment platform. It's not those 50 content creators dominating the explore page anymore. This sounds a lot more like what YouTube was supposed to be. Isn't this what we wanted? Didn't we want more opportunity given to these smaller channels? So why are we listening when these larger, huge established channels are complaining, quite frankly, that they can't do the bare minimum anymore? Why should we care about that when they've had the spot for so long? So now innovation is what's going to get you there. Innovation by Aisha. And we don't want another copycat, right? We do not want a catfish among the salmon. We don't want that. You gotta be an authentic, burly oh, strong yeah. salmon and if you're not you may make it up there but you're going to be rejected enough with the salmon metaphor okay imagine there's just no way to express yourself anymore so you have to get on the locale train except for nico avocado because he literally will never get on the locale train he can't well what if i told you there was a high speed rail right not the one that you took in your sophomore year of college, not that one, an express route to the top of this reservoir. What if I told you that there was a magic way for you to become successful on here? I'm talking about something that doesn't exist. 
And you know what? It never will. Any career that you're in is going to take innovation. It's going to be competitive and it will take sacrifice because when you know, you know. And if you have that same feeling about YouTube, don't let anything get in your way. So I'd like to share with you a little bit of my creative process, right? So first I close my eyes and I think of something that really pisses me off, everything, no. Okay, um, how about those stupid Timu ads? And then I envision what a video would look like. I envision the jokes that I'd be making, I envision the mannerisms and the editing style that I'd use. And then I take some inspiration. So I go and I look at TikTok lives and Timu ads and I soak in the culture, right? Live and breathe that video for a while. Live and breathe what you're going to say. Live and breathe the style that you're going to embody. Cycle it through your head constantly and suddenly you become that video. And if you can switch your mentality to that, your body kind of does the rest of the work. Your brain kind of just aligns. Just let the camera do the work, let the microphone do the work and let your body follow. I don't read exactly off of the script, but I kind of glance at it once in a while. You've probably seen me do it a couple times. And I wouldn't encourage anyone to just read off of the script because when you read right off of the script, you just lose your tone. Speak as if you're reacting to someone else's words. Now, after this is filmed, I just want to let everyone know that editing is my profession. That's, that's why, why I got into YouTube. YouTube. I went to school for film, and that's why I'm able to make videos like this. Albeit. Premiere is a nightmare. nightmare and it's really difficult, but I would encourage anyone to start editing. A lot of the times I'm not happy with my edits. I'm actually very unhappy with them, but nothing is ever perfect. You just got to post it. For now we're posting the video, right? So forget the algorithm, for, forget it. Just make a thumbnail and a title that you think that people would click on. You don't have to appeal to robots or do anything like that. People don't want to see recycled content anymore, okay? We have the greats that have been doing it for so long. Whenever someone tries to copy them, it just comes off as terrible, okay? We love their content and we love their originality and we don't want them to become a different person. We're just asking to share a little bit more space with them. Newer creators are just finding their own niche. They're not replacing someone. They're just kind of taking what they started and continuing. I would encourage anyone to be their authentic selves. And taking inspiration is very important but copying is not. If you're in a position right now where you don't have too many financial burdens, just start, even on the weekends, making content, and you'll be surprised at what you're able to make. And if this is something that you really like to pursue, I guarantee you that if you try hard enough, you will get there. Thank you so much for watching. As I film this, we're almost to 500 subscribers and very serious people. Uh, I love you all, I really do. And until I see you next time, bye. Take care of yourself.